Hi everyone, hope you're well and uh, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a product review and the product that I'm going to review is the Sennheiser Reef. The reason why I chose to do the Sennheiser Reef as opposed to the Home Edition and the Pond Edition is because the Sennheiser Reef has more added features. Now what does the Sennheiser um, device do? Basically it's another means of testing our water parameters but with a twist. Um, with this device you're able to access your readings wherever you are in the world basically. But I'll touch more on that a bit later on. So Senna Reef, for example, uh, the parameters that it's going to be covering and testing for, uh, just going off the back of the list here, is the pH, the ammonia, the temperature, the Kelvin, the Lux and the PAR. But there's a few more as well that I'll show you on the software. The reason why this is really handy for me is because my working hours uh, are up and down. I don't know what day I'm off and stuff like that. So it's pretty hard for me to constantly be testing my water all the time. This way, I just leave it um, plugged into my laptop while I'm at work and the use of my iPhone I can log in to my senai.me account and I have an up to date reading of the trend of what's going on in my tank. Now this device sends um, basically a reading every things once every 30 minutes and so from that you can actually see a trend so you can see when your parameters are spiking and when they're low and things like that so you, you can better adjust them along the way. So what I'll do next, I'll show you a bit of the, um, the device itself and then I'll go into the software and at the end I'm going to be covering um, some questions that Senai and a lot of forums um, are having at the moment in regards to user problems. So Senai have sort of uh, got in touch with me and we've worked together, hopefully I can basically help you guys out with some answers um, and get you enjoying the product more. Hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, so before you set up the device, this is um, this is quite important. Um, this is the packaging, uh, and then obviously when you just open it up, and this here is a quick guide, and it just tells you uh, the steps you need to do before um, you basically plug the USB cable into your laptop or PC to um, start monitoring your parameters and it's really quite easy and straightforward to follow but a lot of the times and a lot of people are having problems in regards to uh, soaking the chip now what I mean by that in this black package here um, is your chip which actually is then placed into the Senai device uh, and basically it reads that the water parameters you need to soak the chip that's it, that comes inside here for 20 hours, 24 hours um, minimum in your tank's water in a jar you know and then uh, it'll be all ready to go so now I'm going to show you the the device so this is it actually obviously in the tank uh, and you can see running alongside of it is the USB cable and then the USB cable then is attached to my laptop so on here, the green light is obviously letting you know there's actual power going to it and that's obviously from the laptop. Top one is for the temperature uh, and then you have the ammonia ratings, um, the pH and here it will also tell you when your card needs replacing. But I'll get more um, into detail in regards to replacing the card. Over here, when that lights up, it's basically sending a, a signal to your laptop or PC. So I'll give you a view from the side. So you can see it's not a massive device, it doesn't have to be placed at the front of the tank. The reason I've done this is because um, just for beneficial for, for the video. Uh, and also on the top up here will be a uh, you can just see at the top of the water there and that's how deep it needs to be into the water. Okay so then I'll uh, I'll show you a bit of the, the software and then after that I'll talk about uh, some of the, the problems that people help in and hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some answers. Okay, so when you're soaking your um, Senai chip for around about 24 hours minimum, um, what you should be doing in that time is setting up your Senai Connect account. So all you do, you go to the Senai website, uh, then you go to download connect software um, and you'll notice when you've um, taken out your 
your chip that you'll have um, sort of like a registry key and this is where um, you activate your um, your chip basically so what the once you download it obviously here it gives you all the system requirements down here um, the actual software would actually look like this and it's up to date and current readings from your tank and this also enables you then um, to have your readings sent to your senai.me account um, so this is the actual bit that you need to go to it's called the replace slide uh, to activate your um, your chip but I can't actually show you that because it will show you my um, registry key in there so I don't want to do that just in case someone pinches that but anyway yeah so here you can see it's really basic um, rather than the Senai Me um, browser that I'll show you in a moment um, but here you can still see you know my ammonia is 0 0.001 my pH is uh, 7.39 temperature um, and it's also saying it's you know it's connecting and it's working properly here there's um, other, other things that will be coming soon that will be free of charge as well uh, via Senai is uh, basically the nitrates, nitrates, general um, uh, carbonate and then chlorine as well or chlorine however you want to pronounce it so these are always uh, going to be free as well from Senai when they start doing these updates and uh, is my light meter as well you can actually see um, my power reading and my lux reading but I, my tank lights are off at the moment and as you can see they've just gone back to zero okay so now what I'll do I'll show you my Senai Me account I'll just go over to it okay so this is what when you set up your um, your connect account then you should be going in and setting up your own personal um, account this is your Senai Me dot pay uh, yeah, Senai dot me page this is where you get to see all your features so remember at the beginning of the video when I spoke about uh, the, the Senai Reef has more added features uh, in regards to the home edition and the pond edition and there's also some added ones that are not actually featured on the box as well so what I'll quickly do I'll just show you the features and then I'll talk a bit about you know what you should be looking for in regards to the readings and stuff like that I mean this is um, because this is a browser, uh, it's it's it runs really smoothly. Obviously, it doesn't crash. A signal from your Senai device gets sent to their server probably once every 30 minutes. Um, so be patient. Um, leave it running as long as you can. But I'll talk more about other ways regarding connectivity for the device. So getting onto the features over here, you can see the uh, the free ammonia, which is obviously the uh, the NH3, and my reading is 0. 0, 01 just like I showed you on the software the connect software and then my pH um, level is here as well also a pretty cool feature is called what's called a current trend um, this can, this basically lets you see what's happening with your tank over over an extended period um, so as you can see here um, my current pH is 7.32 and the average um, pH is 7.11 um, so basically all I did was some water changes and stuff like that and that's why my current pH is slightly slightly higher um, so yeah another thing they can do you can isolate a date if you click over the um, the blue dotted line uh, and you can drag by clicking left clicking and dragging across and then you can see that for that period anyway just to, if you see something where it's spiked really high and, it, and, it, and it's gone out of the, the the preset red um, red lines that we can set ourselves um, and then you can highlight that that section now talking about the red lines that you, you can see at the top here and at the bottom um, I've actually lowered the red line here so I can actually show you how to edit it um, what this did basically setting these red lines up what, what basically happens is if one of the readings either drops below or above up here if it goes all the way down or, yeah, or above um, Senai, when you set up your account, it gives you the option to either set up an email or it can actually send a text message to your phone alerting you of a problem and it will give you um, the specific, specific problem and also uh, sort of like a link to 
sort of rectify the problem. So if you're you know a beginner to the hobby, it's it's brilliant because you click on this link and it also tells you how to to um, better combat the problem. So to edit these and how to move them up and down accordingly, obviously with an African cichlid tank with mainly Mabuna, you probably want between seven and eight pH. So I move mine up to around about seven. I don't want it dropping below seven. And I put mine up. Um, it's just above eight, as you can see. That's probably about eight point one, I think, at the moment. Um, so that's running fine at the moment. Okay, then. So going over here, you can see the temperature. Once again, I've edited it down to I think it's twenty-two and up to twenty-eight degrees there. Um, but my current temperature is twenty-five point two, and my average temperature is twenty-four point four. Now for the guys that have the reef tanks um, and the planted tanks and you want to know all about your light readings at different um, depths in the tank, um, this is the section for you. Um, so obviously you've got your power readings here. Obviously my lights are out at the moment so my the reading, you can't read anything anyway. And then you have your looks and down here you have your Kelvin rating as well. Now, the, I remember when I mentioned some added feature, you also have dissolved oxygen uh, potential and your NH4 readings. So that is, is really, really good. Um, you get some extra stuff there. Now, Senai are always trying to update their software. And I, I spoke to, to someone over at Senai, and they said anything that we do in regards to update software um, will always be free for the customer. I thought that, that's brilliant. You know, um, we pay for a product, and if they bring out an update, I think it should be free as well. So hats off them, hats off to them for for doing that. Now, for the guys who use the um, say the iPhones or um, any type of smartphone or the iPad and stuff like that, um, they're bringing out an app, and it's basically all this information, but in a in a basic form uh, very user friendly for us so if we're out and about and our Senai device is connected um, and it's transmitting over the network we can actually see the readings on the go wherever we are as a good connection so that's another thing and that's going to be free as well and I think that's ideal for us okay so going over to the accessories and in the accessories, I'll talk about um, another way that you can connect your um, device and also store your um, your readings, and that's by using the USB power adapter. I just get it up here. So basically, what you do if you have this plugged in to your um, obviously power outlet and you have your device plugged into this, it will data log. Or your readings, and then the next time you connect the USB into your PC or laptop, it'll automatically down your, download your readings and update your current trend and stuff like that. So, this is another way to co connect your device. Um, they are working on something to do with regards to a Wi Fi device, but at the moment they haven't got to the, the accessories, other things that you can purchase for your device um, replacement. Um, chips there and then a, you know, the part pack and uh, for the guys who want to do you know check your light rate uh, ratings you know the power your looks and your kelvin there's a flotation device that actually points the device up to your lights so at different depths you can uh, get better readings and obviously you have a 2.5 usb extension and over here you have a 15 meter extension so you can have it plugged in you could be in the front room and your, you know, your tank can be in the back room, a great distance. So that, that's a good, um, that's a good accessory to buy, just in case you, you know, you will need it. In the the next section of the video, I will talk about the problems that people are having, and hopefully, I'll be able to uh, give you some answers. Okay, so in this section, uh, I'm going to talking to you guys about some of the issues that people are having, and hopefully, be able to give you some answers. Um, the first thing I want to address is people thinking and getting quite confused uh, in regards to thinking that this is a, a subscription based service. It's not true. Um, after 30 days the chip inside the Senai device starts to deteriorate. Bacteria grows on the sensor bits of the, the chip. You know, the bit that reads the pH and the ammonia. Um, so what basically you have to do is 
if you want your device to carry on reading pH and um, your ammonia levels accurately you need to then purchase a new chip and here it's 18 pounds for, th uh, for three months use but this if you don't want to buy a new car that's a new chip sorry it, it's it's fine what will happen then you'll still be able to read your uh, get readings for your temperature uh, you'll still be able to get readings um, for par uh, your looks and your Kelvin it's only um, you only have to pay any money really every month or three months if you buy the 18 pound one is if you want readings for your pH and your ammonia um, but for 18 pound for three months to get up to date and really accurate readings you know I, I think that's brilliant but it, it is not a subscription based the product will still work and you'll be able to use some of the features even if you do not want to buy a new card after 30 days of use okay so let's have a look at some of the issues people are having make sure your firewall is not blocking um, FTP traffic even though the website is working it doesn't mean your fire firewall will let the Senai Connect application communicate out so if you're having problems with with that make sure you check all your firewalls now email addresses just make sure you're using your the same email address on your um, your Senai Connect application as well as your Senai Me account so just quickly check hopefully you should have that done uh, already now when you're dealing with the slides make sure you handle them carefully and they're wetted properly like I mentioned a few times in the video make sure you're wetting the cards with your tank water for a minimum of 24 hours um, if you they will read basically low pH if they are not wetted um, fully so don't panic if you change a slide and it reads low for a few hours uh, just be patient it will take a few hours um, for the readings to start coming across to your senai.me account now be patient as well because yeah it only does one every 30 minutes uh, and it takes a few minutes then after that to upload to the website now if there's any more problems contact the senai uh, support team on support at senai.com um, they wanted me to make sure people are made aware just reinstalling software or exchanging a product will only replicate an issue so they were the major problems that uh, Senai have been having um, and I've noticed these questions being brought up time and time again on many 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 forums now just going back to the website okay now in regards to people being a bit they're not too sure whether they should buy it or not in regards to because they, they always have to have that they, you know the device either plugged in to the PC or laptop to get up to date readings um, I can see where you're coming from and Senai have told me they're working on a Wi-Fi device to get around that so be patient if you don't want to buy it now keep checking the website um, but there's other options for you as well like using the USB power adapter where you can have that plugged in and it data logs so once you then pl unplug it and plug it into your PC when you get home it'll update all your readings for you um, so I would like to talk a bit about the positives about the product obviously that's what the review is all about positives for me the main ones at the moment are the readings the readings have been very very accurate um, and it and it's it's good to be able just to sit down and have a look exactly what's going on in your tank rather than getting the water test kits out and umming and ahhing are they accurate and blah 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 this way you can see readings that have happened like a month ago and you can go back and see what you did there did you do a water change there could be a problem with the water from the tap and stuff like that it's a brilliant brilliant way to to get a, a stable um, system regarding maintenance on your tank as well so that's a very very big plus other pluses as well is the the connect application software never crashes for me um, the readings on that are always accurate as well now in regards to the senai.me um, browser that's linked with the web with the senai website that's brilliant I mean I showed you all the features on that I mean that just goes without saying how good that section um, of this product is looking at the actual device as well it's well made definitely durability uh, durable sorry 
Now, I, I would only say there's one negative for me at the moment, um, and that is no Wi-Fi option. But I have mentioned what uh, Senai are bringing bringing that product product out. I'm not 100% sure when that's going to be. I haven't got um, any updated information on that. But if I do get any information on that, I will pop it onto my Facebook page. So if you're not on my Facebook page and you do use um, Facebook, uh, if you go to my channel at the top, you'll see the symbol. Give it a click and it will take you over to my channel. And then just click like and you'll see updates on other videos as well. So um, I know it's a long video, so thank you very much for staying with it. I hope I covered um, as much as possible and I hope I answered some of your questions and I hope I've put your minds at rest if you were quite unsure about this product. Is it worth the money? Yes. Um, would you be disappointed? No. And that, remember this is my personal experience, this is my personal review. People are going to have different experiences using this product. So guys I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a bit long um, but I wanted to get as much information in there as possible. As always guys thanks for watching uh, and stay tuned another video.